today is the uh, remembrance of officers and being honored by the honor guards from throughout the nation as well as the, the pipe bands. Uh, the honor guard event started about 22 years ago. Uh, at the time, the current president was uh, President Steve Young, who had asked uh, if we could put together an, an honor guard demonstration tribute for uh, the law enforcement officers to bring their honor guards in and, and compete and to honor officers who died in the line of duty. And the, the judges are actually uh, military honor guard from the old guard and they are the ones that do the judging. My name is Captain Emiliano Conchatoro. I'm the United States Army Drill Team Commander. Uh, what we're doing right now is uh, myself and a few other members of the United States Army Drill Team are assisting uh, the honor guards of all these different police departments in their ceremonial composure, marching, uh, and exhibition. What we really do uh, is help them using our previous experience and knowledge uh, going across the United States, performing at different events, to aid them in their ceremonial composure and their execution of events. Uh, really, it's just all of us being part of one team, one fight, uh, and assisting each other in growing and developing and becoming better departments all around, uh, and it's a great experience. Uh, I'm Corporal David Shar with the Collier County Sheriff's Office. We're located down in Naples, Florida. I'm actually currently assigned to the motor unit, and the honor guard is actually an extra duty of ours. We, we try to come up here every year uh, just to support the other agencies that have lost somebody throughout the previous year, but this one was actually uh, a bit special because uh, Collier County just celebrated their 100 year anniversary as being a county. And in our research to find historical documents and, and display them, we discovered that one of our original deputies in 1930 was killed in the line of duty. He was a motor cop on Alligator Alley. And with that, we honored him that following uh, our law enforcement Memorial Day. And this year, after all the paperwork was done, he was actually put on the wall uh, to be forever remembered. And so we're honored to be here for that. Um, with the schedule of events, we came uh, to that we signed up for the honor guard competition and we made a routine and uh, we wanted to highlight our four deputies that were actually active deputies, but we were lost them this past year due to medical conditions, uh, cancers and that's that sort of thing. So um, having an honor guard of seven, um, having to host four different funerals, we wanted to make the nation know that you know, these deputies were there, they worked until the bitter end, and uh, we want them to re be remembered, just a small smidget of, of this week. Uh, it's important to us. My name is Bradley Kirkpatrick. I'm a Border Patrol agent. I'm currently stationed in Gulfport, Mississippi at the Gulfport Border Patrol Station. Uh, my, I have a collateral duty, which is the pipe major of the United States Border Patrol Pipes and Drums. We have a long and interesting history. So the bagpipes and the Border Patrol go back to the early 1990s when a, a program was started for individual bagpipers to play at funerals. Uh, eventually, towards the late 90s, that turned into a smaller sector-to-sector -sector program where agents who played the bagpipes started to get together with drummers and, and form small bands throughout the country. Eventually, early in the early 2000s, uh, the United States Border Patrol formed out of all these groups of individual pipers and drummers into one national unit, which I'm lucky enough to lead today. I consider it the best part of my job to be someone who is asked to honor the families of our fallen. I take so much pride and have so much respect for the sacrifices that they've made. Um, it's very humbling. Uh, because this is, this is us. You know, it doesn't matter what, what blue line you're from, uh, where, where you patrol or what you've done, both corrections and law enforcement. We're, we're one team, one family. And uh, I'm a diehard believer of that. 
and they need to come because this is this is our this is our week, this is our moment.